Hey guys, it's Phoenix here. I'm going to teach you how to create your own Minecraft texture pack. Um, so, um, as you can see here, I have a folder. Um, I call it MC Texture Pack Default in case I ever want to create more texture packs. So, um, this will be the basics. First, you're going to want to create a folder on your desktop. Um, and name it whatever you want your texture pack to be called. So I just have this. And then we're going to want to, um, if you're new to editing stuff in Minecraft, just follow this. If you're not, just skip a little further in the video. You're going to want to go to your main directory over here. Then you're going to want to click Library, Application Support. And then you're going to want to scroll down and find your Minecraft folder and go to your bin folder. And then this will not be my a folder, this will be a jar file. What you're going to want to do is, imagine this is a jar file, you're going to want to right click it, and then it will say open with archive utility, and that is for the newest version of Mac. If you are on an earlier version, what you can do is compress it into a zip file, and then open it, and it will open as a folder. Um, delete the old version, rename the new version as minecraft.jar, and you're set to go. So, go into this thing here. Um, this is basically how Minecraft works. So now what we're going to want to do is... Ah, wrong folder. Sorry. Um, we're going to want to open up... I'm just going to open this to show you. We want all of these files. You're literally just going to drag and drop them from your Minecraft.jar folder. Don't actually drag them. Copy and paste them or they will there will be errors. So we're going to want to find, you have to just find these, the armor folder, the art folder, um, let me scroll down, the environment folder, um, the GUI folder, the item folder, the misc folder, the mob folder, the pack.png file, the pack.txt file, the particles.png file, and then finally the terrain file and the terrain.png file. Now you don't need all of these items, but if you want to edit the entire texture pack, which most people do, and it makes your texture pack better, you're going to want to do that. Now, since this tutorial is for Mac, I won't be using Paint, which is what a lot of people use. Um, I will be using GIMP. It is a free program. You can just Google it. It's not that hard to find. I'm not going to link to it because it's very easy. If you have Adobe Photoshop or other pro pro eh, programs similar to that, you can always use those. But I just prefer to use GIMP because I one, it's free, and two, I find it rather simple to use. So now, the terrain... The, sorry, the terrain.png file is probably the most important file. But first, let me explain what everything in here is. The armor folder is just basically the armor you wear. So as an example, gold armor, you can't really see it. But if you zoomed in on this, it would look like the, the gold armor does in-game. Now, you can edit these files. Our alt art folder will show us a picture. And if you zoomed in on this, you would see... Um, all the art that can show up on paintings, and you edit that to edit what shows up on paintings. Environment is clouds, you can't really see that because it's white. Rain, snow, you can't see that because it's white. GUI would be the background for the uh, um, loading screen. The container, which would be a chest. Um, this is how you customize how this all will show up. The crafting table, the furnace, and these little things here are uh, the animations that appear here. The GUI, I don't actually know what that's for. The icons, this is stuff like your health and your armor health and stuff like that. Your inventory, and if you want to add a background behind your character, that's where you would put it. Your, all the items, um, so the item icons, which obviously aren't this necessarily the same as how they'll turn out, but yeah, I guess they are. Actually, it, scratch what I just said. Uh, the logo, the Minecraft logo. The particles, I'm not exactly sure what this is for. Um, slot, um, not exactly sure, oh, this is for, sorry, this is for, um, achievements and stats. This is for dispensers, and this is if your texture pack has an unknown icon. 
The items folder is for arrows, boats, minecarts, doors, and signs. Misc folder, I'm not exactly sure what this is all for, but I'm sure it's important. Mobs are just animals, monsters, mobs, anything like that, including yourself. Um, pack.png, this is the icon that will be represented by your texture pack. You can choose to edit this or not, it doesn't really matter. Pack.txt file is the description of your texture pack. You can choose to edit this or not. I suggest you do. It's very easy. You just edit it and text edit. Um, Particles.png file is very important. It is fire, water, hearts, everything that just appears spontaneously in Minecraft when you interact with blocks. Terrain is just the moon and the sun. I'm not exactly sure if there's a pixel restriction on this. I don't believe there is, but don't go messing with that if you don't know. This is the most important file, as I said before, and I will get into that right now. Um, you're going to want to open up GIMP, um, and installation tutorial is available on the website, I believe, for Mac. It is available for Mac, Windows, um, but for Mac, I definitely suggest you use this. Let me quit text edit um, at not x11. Do not quit x11. That If that opens, that's good. So GIMP should open. This is the loading screen. And, um, first time it might take a little while, um, doesn't load, it's okay, just quit and reload it. Um, I learned that lesson the hard way. So now we're going to want to open a file, and, um, we're going to want to go to desktop, which is where the file is located, MC Texture Pack Default, and actually, quickly, I failed. Before I do this, I'm going to make a copy of the folder, which is what you should do if you have a default folder like I do, and copy it to the desktop so that you can always have the default available. You're going to want to open, again, go to your desktop. Uh, this is the copy. You're going to want to open up your terrain.png file and just click assign. And now this will show you all the items, well, blocks that are available in game. Ah, that was way too much zooming. Um, sorry about that. Um, and you can edit them just by painting over them. It's that simple. Um, I'm just going to quickly do a cheap edit on something. So let's say we wanted all stone. Actually, no. We wanted, yeah, just all stone to have smiley faces on them. So we would zoom in on the stone. And um, I assure you that this does paint pixel by pixel. We could make a circle, which would be about this big. Then we choose the color, make it yellow make a circle right here and it will have a bit of gradient if you want to turn that off you can just mess around with the settings yourself remember um, control Z is your friend which is undo for those of you who don't know um, let's just quickly make our color black again make the size down to one pixel and wow okay make eyes my eyes are not very good and make it have a something that resembles a mouth. So yeah, um, so now I'm just going to save this um, file, save, and it should automatically save. You can edit anything you want. Remember, every single block in game is on this file. Um, this is blocks, and you do basically the same thing with particles, items. You just do the same exact thing with everything. So now, after you've saved it, you're going to quit X11, um, and GIMP should automatically quit. And now we're going to go here, and once you have all of your files edited, alright, sorry about that cut, I failed because I did this and then I just failed. Um, previously I said you were supposed to compress the whole folder. No, you're going to want to select all of these, right click, and then compress 12 items. Remember this. It should show up as archive.zip. Rename this to whatever you want. I'm going to rename it noobs. And then I'm just going to drag this to my desktop. Then I have my Minecraft folder saved here, but just do what you did before to get to the Minecraft folder. Then where it says texture packs, you're going to want to drag this zip file into texture packs. And let me quickly delete what I had before. All right. Now we're going to want to open up Minecraft. All right. So now that we're here, we're going to want to open up mods and texture packs. And we're going to want to scroll down and find it. It should appear like this unless you have your icon changed. Just click on it, hit done, single player, create new world, or not. I'm just going to open up the one I loaded before. Um, and now your stone or whatever will be changed. And it's that simple and then in, you can post it on the Minecraft forums if you make something impressive. And a hint, good texture packs 
have everything changed. You don't, you, you're going to be using a lot of time on this. Making texture packs is not something that takes just a few minutes. It takes a long time, so do not assume you're going to be spending barely any time at all on this. Alright guys, thank you for watching. This has been 4 Noobs by Noobs, and I will see you next time.